What's up, my people from YouTube? It's your boy, Go126. And it's your other boy, Danny underscore Connie with two E's, my friend. What's up? Okay, so last video, I mentioned that I was going to the junkyard, pick up some bolts for this 240 that happened to be missing for whatever reason. So we just got to the junkyard. I'm freaking excited because this is the best place ever. It's my second time here, and this is his first time. And I told him he's going to either love it or hate it. So... I can't wait. I'm freaking excited. I love this place. It's so much fun. Why are you sad? Not sad. We're at a junkyard. How can I be sad? I'm going to miss you too, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. Hi. How you like it? I'm happy. I'm, you missed my reaction earlier. Look how far this goes down. All the way down there. All the way down here. All the way back there. And all the way down there. All we've cars walked, lined up. We've been walking for five minutes. Yeah. All cars lined up perfectly on these little, like, rim jack sand things. And, like, just ready to take whatever the hell you want. I got my bag full of parts. I mean, tools. We ready to go, baby. All right, we found our first victim. Old 350Z that just got wrecked. Luckily for us, the whole, like, front end of it is out. And I need these front axle nuts. So, this is really easy for me. I'm just going to pull all this stuff off. And I don't even know if these will fit, but, I mean, it's Nissan and... It should, it, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? So I'm gonna start just pulling all this stuff off. Muscle power. Mother, hold up. Oh, you got it? Ow, ow, you got it, you got it, bud. Not working. Okay, abort mission. Hey, <laughs> don't <laughs> What? I thought you loved it. <laughs> Everything's rusted together. None of this stuff wants to come off. That's probably why it's still all together. On to the next one. I'm Next such time. an idiot. Oh. I just did that for fun. That was fun. After 350Z, you know how to go back out there and make sure I'm still a man. <laughs> Alright. Alright, next one. Let's go. I'm breaking this thing off. It's scary. You just hear some weird noises. Like I can't get this shit out. It's like right there, though. Hey. Oh yeah, brother. What happened now? I, just, I stripped that that bolt. I love the junkyard. I'm tired of it. <laughs> okay, so what I need from the junkyard is six bolts that attach the brake caliper to the rotor. Four of these bolts that connect the brake line to the caliper and then I also need two rear axle nuts and I need two front axle nuts but I'm not gonna be able to get the axle nuts today I don't have the right socket the one I have is not deep enough so it just keeps stripping the bolt I'm just gonna get all the brake caliper stuff forget the axle nut stuff for right now whatever I'll just see if I can order them online taking out the bolt that connects the caliper to the hub So you're taking off those bolts before the brake line this time, right? Yep. The other side, I took the brake line off first, and that shit dripped everywhere. And it was f***ing annoying. Wow. Stopping it out of my hands and made everything slippery. It was stupid. Bad decision. Well, you're doing good now. Yeah. Proud of you, Michael. All right, we got some bolts and some nuts that will help us, I think. Didn't get any of the axle nuts, but we're going to call it a day for right now. Go back to the house and see what fits. <laughs> okay, we just left the junkyard. I got some of the some of the bolts that connect the brake calipers and some of the bolts that connect the brake lines to the caliper. I'll show you guys when I get back. And we'll put some of that stuff on and see if it, uh, I don't even think the brakes are gonna work, but I can't even think right now straight up. Uh, we're gonna go get some food and then head back to the house and see what we're gonna do to the 240. Take a moment, count my guap, count my guap All these racks bumming in, coming in But I'm in a golf store Yeah, tell the only parlay I only got my bed and my mother, I'm sorry Y'all, 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 y'all I'm calling more Babylon, can't resist it Fuck a cop, bitch, I'm ducking all these piglets Yeah, I still got my motherfucking wrist split Yeah. 
You never love me like I love you. You are so mean. You never leave me. Shut up when you want it. Help me. Uh, we're back at the house now. We ate a little bit of food. I don't know if we're gonna work on the 240. We're just chilling now. Danny's playing some fours are drifting. You messed up. You suck. <laughs> Appreciate that Porsche. That is a beautiful Porsche. No, it's trash. Yo! Well, it's not a 240, it's an RX7, which you'll don't match. No, wait, there was a different one in the freaking picture. Alright, we're gonna do it all this one Okay, okay. What the hell? What the hell is going on? What the? Wait, they're stealing my car. Yo, what, the, what are they doing? Bro, they're driving off of my car. Yo, they're driving off of my. Yo, what the hell? Yo, come back. No, no, I miss you. I love you. No. Bye, 240. So, uh, I feel like all you guys are pretty confused right now, and I have some explaining to do. 240 is sold. You just saw it drive off. That is not fake. I don't know those people. They were nice guys, but I don't know them. They gave me cash and they drove off with my car. And there's good reason for it. One, that car was a bucket to begin with, which I was okay with because I wanted to build it from the ground up. But there was a lot of rust. It would have been a lot of work and a lot of money. Like a lot of extra money that I didn't need to spend. Also, I found out that uh, there was termites in it. Yeah, my neighbor was over here looking at the car and he said he saw a termite. So that was like the the that was like that last little bit that just I was like, all right, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Got rid of it. Yeah, that 240 is gone for real. No more 240. Last is good. I sold it for 200 bucks. If any of you guys are curious, bought it for 20 dollars. So I really can't complain. I think the truck and trailer cost me 100 bucks. So I made 80 bucks off it. Not bad at all. So I do still have the M4. It's right here. It's in the garage now. Look at her. Look at that bad girl in the garage, baby. That's where she belongs. And I will, I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna get another car. Like, that's not the end of it. I'm gonna get a better condition, whatever it may be. I don't know. And uh, we're still gonna drift. We are gonna build a full-blown drift car. I don't care. I want a big truck too, still. We're just gonna play it by ear, you know? But yeah, that actually happened. I sold my car. It was literally like, yeah, this is that's like real. Like, it's not fake. Like. Last night, my dad came in the house. He said, look, this car has termites. I said, okay, I don't want it anymore. Posted it on Facebook. Next morning, which is today, it's like 11 o'clock. Guy came, got the car. That's it. Had that 240 for like a week, maybe? Maybe a week and a half, I don't know. Time for some new stuff, right? So I know this video is all over the place, so I'll just recap it real quick. Went to the junkyard to try to get some missing bolts for the 240, came home. Dad said it had termites. Post on Facebook, sold the next morning. That's exactly what happened. So now what do I do? What do you want to see? You want to see more sound clips of my freaking M4? I don't know. Like, I'll do that if that's what you guys want. Um, George's car got tuned and now it burbles and shoots flames. So I'll do another video of that if you want. Like, whatever. Um, I'm really down for anything. But for now, that's it. Gonna call it quits on this. I got some money in my pocket. I'm gonna just relax, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next yes. time. Why they wanna be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank. Put it wet on my Achilles. We been thumbing blue faces like they Washington's. On a run from MIA up to Washington.